guys, welcome back to Cheers. Today we have a June favorites for you. So if you want to see what our favorites are for the month of June, then just keep watching. So my first favorite product for the month of June has been this Innisfree Intensive Triple Care Sunscreen. And I've been wearing this religiously every single day because the weather has gotten super <laughs> sunny. And I've been doing a lot of like yard work and gardening and stuff. So this has been amazing. I still wear like a little gardening like sun hat to protect my face, but I love this. I haven't gotten sunburn yet, which is saying a lot because my cheeks always get burned. Like no matter what I do, like any sunscreen, like, burned immediately because of how high they are. So I have been really loving this. If you're curious, it's SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. So it's got your back. <laughs> and then even on the back, it says, do not stay too long in the sun, even when using this sunscreen product. <laughs> I mean, you know Koreans with their sun, sun care. They're like, Koreans take sunscreen, sun care real seriously. So if you're like sensitive to sunburn like me, then I highly recommend this product. I've been loving this. I also love that product, but something to note on it is that it is a physical sunblock. So if you do have like darker skin, then it will <laughs> have like, a casting effect. You'll for sure be Casper the Friendly Ghost. <laughs> yeah, you will look ghostly. <laughs> Just FYI. Yeah. Um, also, a little goes a long way. Like, it comes out really thick, but like, the coverage is insane. It does have a bit of a pinkish pigmentation to it, too. So, it kind of yeah. gives a brightening effect. So, if you do put foundation over it, then your 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 foundation and face will definitely be brightened in appearance not only because of the physical aspect of it but also because it has a bit of a pigmented pink to it as well yeah it's kind of like a cute peachy color but you can already see like <laughs> there's a little bit of brightness on that hand <laughs> i took that sunscreen on like a boating trip with me and my bible study last year uh -huh. and there was a girl who was like quite a bit more tan than i was and she was like oh do you have face sunblock and i was like yeah you can use some apply <laughs> After a while, like it just yeah, takes oxidize. a little bit to like seep in and oxidize. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> but it is a good one. I like it. It's I funny. have it as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, my first one is gonna be this concealer from Tosin. Like I saw it on Yes Style and Jolsey a few times, and I was like skeptical about how good it would be because it's so cheap. It was like I think less than five dollars or something like that. Yeah, that's um, a good um, deal. Granted, it is like. Yeah, um, I can't I can't remember the exact container size, but um, I'll look it up and put it in the description box below. But um, I was like, okay, it can't be that good, but it got really good ratings. And so I gave it a try on a Yes Style haul. And yo, the coverage on this is insane. Like, and it matches my skin really well. I think it's like the best match concealer that I've gotten yet to date. Cause I think I tended to go too light. <laughs> and so it was just like, this clown <laughs> go up and on for a bit. But this one matches me really well. I had like really bad parts of hyperpigmentation here because I had broken out. And like on days when I'm not getting enough sleep, like literally I don't even need to go over foundation with this. Like this is all I need. Don't need foundation at all on the rest of my face. I just, cause a little goes a long way with this. I've been really liking it. Like it does Ooh. such a good job of coverage. Let me see if I can, um. Yeah, do a okay. little swatch yeah. or something. So this is the Heroin Make. Um, what's it called? Eyeliner. And there you go. I'm gonna let it dry really fast a bit. Just a little glob here. And I'll take my I'll take my makeup sponge. Well, right now it's not covering it. <laughs> well but that like, is it like really dark. You don't really have dark stuff like that on your face. Okay, I'm going in with the second dot. <laughs> And maybe if I did it less not okay, so if I do it with my finger, then it does a really good job of covering it. Do you see that? Oh yeah. Like you can't once the product blends out, but 
when it was with my hyperpigmentation and not with the super black <laughs> eyeliner, yo, like you couldn't, I couldn't, I was shook at how well it covered up my dark spots. Like there was nothing. You couldn't see anything. It was like, what's up, boys? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Isn't it hydrating? Yeah. So I've been really, really liking it. I highly recommend it. It's like super high coverage. It hasn't really gotten a lot of creasing on my eyes as I expected it to. And it's like creamy but watery inconsistency. Mm. So I don't know. I've been it's just like everything that I've been looking for in a concealer. I don't think I'm gonna go back to like even, I like it way better than my it Cosmetics concealer. I like it way better than the Smashbox concealer. I think I found the one for me and it is plus him. <laughs> <laughs> Did you oh yeah, and my see? color that I got is 1.5 if you are curious. I think 1.5 will also be good for you. My next favorite product is what I'm wearing on my lips right now but it is the Bite Beauty, I think it's a lippy stick. And I actually mm -hmm. got this as a sample from Ulta, but it's just a really nice mauve everyday color. I wore it kind of darker today so you could see it on camera, but I usually dab it out and like it gives you this like my lips but better type of look. And I was reading the name of this and <laughs> still don't even know if, cause it's so tiny. I don't know if there's an accent over the E, so it's either glace or glace. <laughs> it just depends. It's probably that, glace. Yeah, it probably <laughs> just depends if that's an accent or not, but I literally cannot see it. I need like a magnifying glass or a microscope to see it, but this is the color. I really like it. It makes your teeth kind of pop too for it not being super red, like blue tone red, you know? So um, yeah, I've been really liking this. It's very moisturizing. It doesn't dry down. So I like it for me because y'all know I be crusty sometimes and I just can't be having products that dry on my face. I need it to Yo, stick. Yo, but you be actually looking <laughs> super glowing today despite really? like your crustiness, yeah. Maybe it's the highlighter, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe it's the highlighter, but you be looking glowing. It looks Thank good. You, girl. <laughs> but yeah, this product has been amazing. It also has a very like faint scent to it, but it's nothing like- It smells so good. Really? This yeah, really I like smell. it. it just smells it, like- If I remember correctly, it's almost like slightly citrusy, slightly vanilla-y. Yeah, um, it's kind of like the way that MAC lipstick smell, but like dialed back a little bit. And not as vanilla as MAC, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. It smells good, I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> it's also a nice little size to just like throw in your bag whenever you need okay. a little touch up. And it's amazing, the shape of it too. Like the size is just perfect in every way. Bite you did that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my next favorite product um, it kind of goes in conjunction with the uh, concealer that I've been using, but I've been really enjoying the Real Techniques buffing brush. It's just like these. Um, and I've been buffing, I've been really enjoying buffing in my concealer lately, more so than going in with a sponge. And I found that it just, I don't know, maybe it's because I've been really lazy. Like sponge, I feel like I do it for the entire face, but I don't want to go to the bathroom lately to wet my sponge. Mm. So I've just been using um, a brush lately and it's been doing a really good job. Like I'm not usually a huge, huge fan of foundation brushes or anything like that. I just always found that sponges do the job better, but this one has been my go-to. Like I'll just do a bit of concealer here, here, and like wherever, wherever else I'll need it and just go in with the this brush on those areas. And I'm like set for the rest of the day. And it does a really good job of like blending it all in it's not streaky at all for me. Um, I've just been really, really enjoying it. Super fast and easy, so. Yeah, it's like... that brush also, I have that one too, and it's very multi-purpose. Like, even if you don't use it for your face, like, I use it for my eyes all the time, like, to blend in shadows and stuff, and it's, mm -hmm. like, all around really nice. Yeah, I have um, two of these. So one I use for the concealer aspect of it, and then if I do do my eyes with, like, a bronzy look or something like that. I'm not very good at blending. Like I'm not as good at blending as Chanel is. And so like right at the top <laughs> parts here for me, like it's always such a harsh line. So going in with a clean buffing brush like this and just kind of rubbing it in, like it, it does, does a good job of, yeah, <laughs> of buffing, like buffing it in and just kind of blending everything out and making sure that there's no harsh lines. So yes. great brush. <laughs> and a it's real techniques. Yeah. <laughs> 
Speaking about affordable, I got this next product. You've seen it before. Um, it was actually a part of our very first Jolse haul. Like we were just reminiscing going over our favorites. I know. <laughs> Flashback. But I was recently at Daiso. This was $1.50 and it looks exactly like the same as what we got from Jolse, a little bit cheaper. Um, it is a Ours was the Ours was the Misha brand and that oh, was like colors, I think, the one that we got. Yeah. yeah. Same concept though. It's a cognac sponge and it is a charcoal one. And I just kind of wanted to get this again because lately I haven't been using exfoliators on my face as much. So I've noticed like a little bit of flaking and also that might just come from like being outside a little bit more Gross. than usual. I know. But um, <laughs> the crusty this... girl has to exfoliate. Come on, Chanel. I know. I, I usually don't exfoliate, work. but like I had to. So I got this because I don't have any like scrubs, like soap scrubs that have like exfoliator in them. So I was like, okay, if I use this, then it'll get all the dry skin off and it's gentle enough to where it won't like really irritate my skin. So I've just been using my normal face wash and everything with this sponge and my skin has gotten so much smoother, like even around my nose area and like, especially this like hyperpigmentation spot I was telling you about, you know, like pimples after they heal, they get a little crusty. So <laughs> I've been using this and like now, like my makeup will apply over it very smoothly and I've just been liking it. like. For a Zwala 50, like, come on. Hey, okay. Yeah, like deals on wheels. <laughs> Was it on wheels though? Well, I had to drive to get there, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my next favorite product and last one is this hair comb thing that my dad randomly picked up for me. <laughs> and I've been using it for a few months now and I've actually been really liking it, like basically, you just apply some shampoo into your hair and then you take this like brush and it's very flexible. Like, can you see that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then you basically just kind of massage it into your hair and it acts as like kind of a comb for your scalp in a way. And then I just do that for like a minute or two. And I hope that it has improved my dandruff level. Mm. which I've been really liking and then um since it's also basically like scratching your scalp or whatever like that it's also m giving a massage to your scalp so I'm hoping that it promotes hair growth as well um you know after function of beauty I'm trying to <laughs> yeah <laughs> figure out ways that I can help promote growth or like prevent hair loss and stuff like that so um I, I've been using that and so far what I've liked about it is the aspect of um of the dandruff, but I'm hoping to see more results in regards to like little, little wispies coming up soon <laughs> mm -hmm. for promotion to hair growth. Cause with massaging, it basically like helps with the circulation there, which is supposed to help with hair growth. So I will keep you guys updated, but so far so good. So far it hasn't like done anything bad for my hair. It's only done good in terms of like scalp health. So I've been liking that. Nice, I bet you feel ultra clean. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm just like sneaky. <laughs> 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 All right, well those are our favorites for the month of June already. My goodness. <laughs> I know. 2020. Done we with the year. Go <laughs> I know, seriously. But we hope you guys are staying safe and healthy as always. And thank you so much for making it this far to the end of the video if you did. And if you did, then don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell if you want to see more content like this and as always cheers to a good week cheers. bye guys bye.